on, on an Oldsmobile rebuild, have you ever done any um, offset grinding on the crankshaft journals to use different rods? On no, Oldsmobile. No? Yeah, I didn't that. have, no. Okay. And most of the time we found Oldsmobiles, the, in the first place, the rod bearing should have been wider. Oh. They had a fairly skinny rod bearing. Okay. And we didn't think that the first thing that ever happened on Oldsmobile, the rod bearings went out of it. Had rod bearing problems if you had anything. And it has, still has that oiling problem mm -hmm. where it has the oil in the block where you had to plug the oil. Was that in the small block? Old all of them, yeah. All, all of them. the same, yeah. Okay. So yeah. really a, a, a design motor, I think that without that, they did not design to race or anything or do anything with it. Even though some, we had a lot of boats, jet boats here in Arizona mm -hmm. with that 455 motor in them. Yeah. I don't know if they could buy that motor cheap from General Motors, the whole crate motor mm -hmm. in those days and put them in those brand new boats and, and even... After a while, anything that had an Oldsmobile motor, it ran fine for a good family ski boat, but don't try to start messing with it, tinkering with it. Yeah. Putting car carburetors on it, bigger exhaust, and, and trying to get RPMs on it, it would come apart. 